Hi, in this video I want to show you one of my math books. This one is written by Paul Halmos. It's called Finite Dimensional Vector Spaces. This is the second edition of the book. This is a book on linear algebra. It's a very well-known book. Nameplate of the previous owner. Finite Dimensional Vector Spaces. The University Series in Undergraduate Mathematics has the editors. Interesting. Additional titles will be listed and announced as published, a series of distinguished texts for undergraduate mathematics. Finite Dimensional Vector Spaces by Paul R. Hamos, Professor of Mathematics, University of Chicago, second edition. Nice book. We find the copyright somewhere. See if we can find it. It's pretty old. 1958. Wow. Wow. That was a long time ago. 1958. D. Van Nostran Company. Wow. Here's the preface. Let's read part of it. My purpose in this book is to treat linear transformations on finite dimensional vector spaces by the methods of more general theories. He has uh, several books, by the way, Paul Hamos. I have a few other books of his. Here's the contents. Spaces. The chapter one is on spaces. And then transformations. Lots of math here orthogonality. Lots of mathematics in a book like this. And then we have analysis. Yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it. It's not a, a very thick book. It's a good size. It's got a lot of material, um, but it's not, it's not super thick. Chapter 1, Spaces, Fields. Every pair alpha and beta of scalars that corresponds a scalar alpha plus beta called the sum of alpha and beta in such a way that we have some properties. Uh, one, addition is commutative. Alpha plus beta equals beta plus alpha. Two, addition is associative. Alpha plus beta plus gamma is the same as alpha plus beta plus gamma. And then there exists a unique scalar called zero such that x plus zero, alpha plus zero is alpha for every scalar alpha and to every scalar alpha there corresponds a unique scalar negative alpha such that when you add them you get zero. To every pair alpha and beta of scalars there corresponds a scalar alpha beta called the product of alpha and beta in such a way that and you have some properties there. Really cool. Really, really cool. And so it goes through everything which is kind of nice. There's exercises. I don't know, um, I don't think there's answers to the exercises, or if there are, they're limited. I don't feel like this book is one that uh, had, um, yeah, so there's an appendix, recommended reading. Let's, let's just look anyways. Sometimes uh, in older books, um, there, there will be answers to the exercises but it's not in the chapter contents. It's kind of weird, I've noticed that. That's happened uh, a few times. Uh, so here's the appendix. Ergodic theorem, convergence of linear transformations. No, there's no, there's no answers, right? That's, that's the analysis. So yeah, nice solid book. Just gotta give it another whiff here. It smells really good. Ah, oh, yeah, wow. Wow. The Jordan form. <laughs> Someone was working on that. That was not me. Um, yeah, the Jordan form is something that uh, you usually learn uh, in a linear algebra class. Uh, you might not learn it in every linear algebra class you take, but I remember learning it, and I remember having to learn it again and um, struggling to find uh, examples of, of the Jordan form. I should probably I should make a video maybe on on the Jordan form because I, that's something that there's not that many examples 
you know, all kinds of topics uh, in this book. Matrices of transformations. That's chapter there. Inverses. Hmm. Interesting. You wonder how many people use this book and for how long. You know, 1958, a lot of history here. Anyways, I just wanted to show you one of my linear algebra books. Uh, it's a famous one. It's called Finite Dimensional Vector Spaces. It was written by Paul R. Hamos. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.